Welcome back to the city of Atlantis in City Skylines. And I've had some changes since the last episode, and I mentioned some of these changes uh, before we finished our last episode, and this here is exactly the first change. So look how good this area is now. I did some detailing in here, and I've also changed this to self-sufficient buildings. And I believe I also did the um, um, the commercial specialization. Let me see. I forgot the name. That's called organic and local produce. Of course, I remember the name just as I click on it. <laughs> I don't remember if I show you this, but I've upgraded this uh, pathway in here, which looks quite nice now. And there is this connection in here as well. And look at how many people is using that. It's quite nice to see all these people just walking and getting to the bus stop here or walking through the industrial area just to make sure that they have some work. So this is a nice addition. This is something that I believe also changed. Uh, we do have these roundabouts and I've decorated this for now and I think like this is the entrance of the city so I want to have something nicer in here so that's why I have this in here and I've also did the uh, details with the intersection marking tools and some crossings uh, so pedestrians don't stop traffic in here they're still stopping in here to wait but yeah, I have to ask them to go straight through, but that didn't work. But anyway, that's their fault. So uh, something else that changed is this main road here. I've added the road with trees in the middle, and I think this looks a little bit nicer in this area. So I quite enjoy that. And this connection was done before. Yeah, I think that was it. Uh, and maybe this road here, I have upgraded for the one with the bike path. So cyclists have a, an extra option there to go around and make sure that they can reach their destination. This looks really, really good. I quite like this area. It's like a nice little pocket in here and this looks good. So this area in here, we can still do some work. But as we just need um, industrial, I'll add some more industrial for the farming area. And oh, we reach big city. So we have now a new uh, tile. We have the liberal arts college campus area. We can have the visiting scholars uh, policies. What it gives us. So increase faculty bonus and increase faculty upkeep. Hmm, interesting. So that's good. Uh, anyway, we have some new buildings in the crematorium. Finally, we can work with that now. Uh, I think that'll be the first building I'll put down. We have these towers that I'll probably start replacing uh, around some areas. And we have the cryo preservatory. I have to take a look at that. I don't remember having this building. So let's see what is that. There we go. This is the high tech buildings content creator pack. All right. So probable healthcare uh, patient capacity is 120. So what what is actually this? I thought it should be like something like crematorium, but it says patients and uh, this says patient as well. So out one of those actually, I want to see how that looks and what we can do with that. Maybe I can use this area over here to get one in there and we can see, oh, I quite like that. It's a nice building. And there we go, we have hers going around. Good, good. So I'll probably add another one. Now that'll be 
a little bit hard to find a place for this around here. But let's see, I... Well, in this area would be good to have something like that. Well, we do have this cemetery anyway. In here, we... Unless we fit, like, somewhere around here in the middle of the residential. And I think that's what I'll do. Just there. And for now, that should be enough, hopefully. Let's take a look at death care. So, crematorium capacity 240, which is pretty good capacity, and that's nice. So, this is our start here. Although this is on a slope, I think like this, actually, it's okay. Not too bad. This area is all a slope, so we have to be mindful of that. Um, yeah, I don't remember if we had this road here, I think I I did that a few episodes ago, so I won't talk about that. But it's just to help with traffic, if you wish to know. <laughs> so let's build on this area in here now. What I want to do, I want to bring this main road that way, and I want to bring this one that way, so we can start working towards towards this area so I guess we can probably start from here and go like so So this is ready and we have now a way to go to that area and to also utilize this. But this is not the only way that we can go to this side. We can also use this side here. I know that this is a bit of slope, but it's fine. I think we can deal with that. I think we have worse slopes in the city connections around here well kind of this is too steep I would say uh, I don't know if I like that looking at this right now I think I'll remove that yeah I can see how we could use this but mm, no at least I don't want to use this right now maybe we can use a 30 rows that go up there and then we match with a main rows that comes this way and draws over there but yeah i don't want to do that but what i want to do is to actually go back to our road here and first i want to read this one and then what i want to do is probably use this and then we start doing some sort of curve like that and I think that would be yeah I think that's good enough and then we can go up to that area and also branch this off to this side if we want to but one thing that I want to do here is just smooth out all these terrain at the side so it doesn't look so weird on this area with that kind of big slope in there I think that looks slightly better and from here I think we can use the smaller roads and start collecting things
and here we go we have now this new area but I forgot to do what I promised I would do in every single new area that we have here which is basically just add the self-sufficient buildings but let's do it right now and let's set the specialization for self-sufficient there we go so we'll probably lose all these buildings and they'll grow back up I will just tie this up as I, as I always do just so this doesn't look too bad and everything is nice and tidy so there we go I think these areas around here they are fine the way they are and Pleasant Heights I quite like that name to be honest a bit pleasant but yeah let's take a look at this little area that we have built here and see how this turns out there we go it's coming along really nice and although we don't have like a very strong demand for residential all these buildings have been built like pretty fast actually i'm actually surprised so what i did here was mainly this area at the back i want to be a little bit more dense so we have high density residential and this area i still want to keep it as low density just so we have a better transition from the farming area here especially if we have more buildings in this this might be too close but i think this makes sense as we also have that cluster over there so it doesn't look so off the place uh, and i quite like it now one thing that i missed here is actually setting this up the um, traffic in here and now we need dedicated turning lanes which is good i might do uh, i actually need to do the same thing here so let's set this up properly there we go i'm just thinking if we need like dedicated turning lanes uh, on these connections so basically meaning that we might have um, a mathematical road here to win and one out but i think for now we don't have that much traffic this is not uh, a busy area anyway yeah i think i'm fine look at all these people walking in here probably they are just going to the industry area we now have a lot more demand for industry and one of the things we could do is improve our uh, industry area here or we can build another area let me see what we have to resource so we have forestry in here there in here i don't know if i want to build forestry in there we have or we have a few options around us but i don't know if i want to do this right now we have this empty area around here as well and i'm just not quite sure what to do with that but we still have some zoning in here that we don't have any houses yet so we could just lay um, some commercial in here and i might do some offices in there just like that let's see how that looks and well we have a crossing over here crossing over here so they have easy access to this area so i won't bother creating another pathway in here but yeah it's good to see our first offices coming in, into play here <laughs> that looks good now we have enough parking in this area i've also added some uh, actually i hmm, yeah that's right i added the elementary school in here but actually i use the community school which we need a lot more uh, schools around here so maybe another one in this area how many students we have here 250 out of 250 so we definitely need another school in there let's do one on this side maybe in here that we don't have too many buildings there and hopefully they 
demolish this one or we can go, just go yeah, there we go just because i said so yeah this should help uh the students we have a high school in here which has a lot of students as well that's nice to see but let's take a look yeah enough capacity we don't have university yet i've also added a uh fire station over there we might need to add another one here and all the station one there should be enough for this area i would say so i won't bother i haven't done a medical clinic and i think we should do it so probably around the year so they have easy pedestrian access in there we have another one there which is fine and we should at some point add some elder care and some child care center we don't have either so i might do the child care center in here to start helping with everyone's health i think that'd be nice um no need for crematoriums and i've added a couple of parks here in that as well and i think that's yeah that's it and water basic service so it's all good in here for them look at how many people we have here we might need to take a look at our bus lines so let's do it i think we have the time today we have almost a thousand people using our uh, public transport so i wondering if it's worth bringing another line here uh, i don't think so if we want to another bus we might do one from here to there in there so they have a exchange but let's see let's see let's start with the blue line so blue line we have all buses full oh no this is going to the island in here um all right we have seven buses i have a lot of people waiting so let's add three more total of ten and these hopefully should be enough now orange line which goes to the other side here where we still have this big area that we can use we have i think this is quite right we have like almost full buses and i think that's enough i don't think we need more again six eight there it, it's good we have the right number now green line this one that goes all the way to the industry and that you, helps people from this area here to get public transportation for the rest of the city so we do have a lot of people waiting there we have two buses another one there so i'm thinking that we need one two more so up to 11 we now have a thousand people using which is fantastic now we do have some more options for public transportation especially metro and trains and we have ferries i believe let me see that's quite a good idea i think i'm down to that idea we could have a ferry in here then hmm, where could we have a ferry here we have this park there a ferry wouldn't go this way because of that waterfall not really a waterfall but yeah that would be a bumpy ride so where could we go we should have to stop somewhere around here so we have some commercial we could add one ferry there and then probably another one in here and there so they have a way to cross as well and most likely in this area i i think i want to do that let's let's do it why not why not so public transportation um ferry i'll add ferry depot in a second but we need the ferry stop So, okay, 
we have those ferry stops and one of the things that I want to do is get this one use the touch this get that one well just this one for the moment and see if I can do something like this and let's get buildings not nodes bring this all the way up here there we go we now have a connection and yeah that's all we need it's connected to the road and it's also whoops no power this should be all right yeah okay that one is sorted this one yeah i might remove this road too I think that's okay. I think I'm happy with this. Why? Let's try it and see how that goes. Um, we need some commercial in there just to keep people happy. And then we go back to this and we look at our next station or next stop. Seems to be alright. Yeah. I'm happy with that. Let's bring some water in there. So from here... Oh, yeah, Grand City! Nice! So we have more buildings. And solar power plant, baseball and waste transfer facility and processing complex. Plus the bus metro hub. Which we are quite there, um, almost there, not quite there. So <laughs> to start using metro, I do want to use that. So water for this area and I think our other buildings have water already. Yeah, water there, water there, everyone's happy, water here, but we still have to sort these out. I think that's quite good actually. If they keep uh, walking in here, let's see. Went there, went there and kept walking. And there we go. Yeah, happy days. So I'm happy with that. But now that we have all this, we actually need a new line. So that's the line. All right, this seems to be nice. So here is our line or, or uh, ferry pathway and we need to create the line but we need the ferry depot for that and that's the question where do I place this and um, I'll leave it in here for the moment and let's see how that goes but later on I'll probably change it and make sure that this is uh, better so let's bring more water pipes. Okay, water is there and now we can draw our line. So we start from this end and start here. Go. Oh. What the what? <laughs> uh, ah, that's the ferry depot. That's raw. All right. I'll fix that in a second. And line is completed. Now we won't get any ferries on this line. As you can see, it will show and get stuck because there is no way that we can connect this over there. So I have to change this and make sure that's in the in the right place. I think that'll be actually a good place to have it. Let me redo this road and use something that's a little bit better or more suited for this. A dirty road, yay! <laughs> and I'll connect it over there. Like, I don't mind having this um, for a junction here because 
well, we won't have traffic in this area, that's what it is. So I'll leave it this way, letting them go straight and right and straight and left. And this will serve just as a connection to this ferry depot. Let's bring some water in there because I know for a fact that it needs water. And what we need to do is actually connect this to that so they can get out of here and join our line over there. And now that we connected, there we go, our first ferry has arrived. Can we follow it? Yeah, I've removed the um, camera mode for, for my game, so we don't have those options. Look at how many people we have here. That's pretty good. Let's follow it. Oh, this is quite a steep incline there. I think I'll be fine. <laughs> That'll be a fun ride. And we have arrived at the other side of the city. And, oh, this is quite high, but they'll jump. They'll be right. I'm quite excited about the fact that the, uh, the amount of people that is using this line is, is a lot. So we have a full ferries. Well, this has 10, but boarding, yeah, 14. This one, 10. Maybe they have to unbunch. But let's take a look at this. I will speed things up just so it's easier for us to have an idea how many people are actually using the service because I bet it's not 13. There is a lot more people on this ferry than 13. Uh, or 14. Yeah, there you go, 21 and plus two tourists. I think it's still higher. As you can see, two ferries are at capacity. This stop here which stop is that? Oh, the one on the island is the busiest one. We have 170 people there. Do we have more ferries? No, that's the only one. So let's add three more ferries. I think like I can see that we had 150 waiting there. Adding three more should help with the, the amount of people that we have waiting in that area. All the ferries are full at this point, as you can see. Hopefully this will help them out and we will get enough, uh, enough ferries here. So this is not as full. And as you can see, they are pretty close at the moment. We have way too many and they have to wait for each other, except that one that just went through it and no matter what. <laughs> but they have to unbunch, uh, as you can see. The target gap here is 27 at the moment, 28. And while this happens, this will spread out and I think we will have a better coverage. At the moment, they're just too close together. But we are already up to 77. And by the number of people waiting here, this will probably go up for like 150, 200 or even more. That is an interesting fact here that doing this with the ferries, actually reduced a lot of people using buses and i think that makes sense they for example if they want to come to the the island here and they are let's say here they can just come to the ferry and jump in there and exit there instead of getting a bus from here going to the bus junction or station and getting another bus that goes to that area so this helps and we kind of sorted the traffic in here for the moment, which is nice. We still have like a little bit of backup in here, but I won't bother too much about this. It feels though that we need some sort of roundabout somewhere around here to get this going. This is a pretty busy junction and connection, and this is our only connection to the highway we might need to unlock a tile where we can actually make another connection just to help us out. But we will get there. I think we 
we're going step by step. Let me remove this building that's abandoned for some reason. And I think we will leave things in here. I'm quite happy with the way this turned out, although it was just like a pretty small build that we had here, which is already looking good in my view. Uh, we need to do some detailing. I'll do probably off camera again. I'll do something similar to what we've done in this area. Just like working with the terrain, uh, maybe working with pathways if we need to, adding some trees. And what I want to do is actually is move this corner in here. It just doesn't feel right for me, but I'll do this while I do the uh, detailing for this area. We are currently at 15,800 uh, people. It's quite a lot. We have a lot of money and I think we have a lot of money from industry as well. Let's take a look at how much money we are making there. Industry, we are making 5,000. Oh, that's great. So we have farming making money in the warehouse that we sell goods from the farming they are also making money. But one of the things that I still want to do is actually add some factories so we can make this a little bit better. But to do the factories, what I believe I will do, I will, um, I want to connect these two trains and make sure that we have a way to get them on, um, well, we can get a uh, cargo uh, outside the city and export that through trains so we don't get too much uh, traffic coming around. So that's the idea at least. But that'll be done on our next episode. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please don't forget to leave a like. Please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And consider watching the video on your screen. It's probably related to the playlist or something that you might like. So. Take a look at that and take care. Bye-bye.